Welcome, congregation, to the Reverend's fucking sermon, baby. Tackling these week eight NFL picks and predictions. Going to go ahead and just jump right into it. Thursday night, we got the Falcons and the Panthers. Last week, I said the Falcons would choke as soon as they went up against the fucking Lions because there was like a minute left. Guess what? They did, and they fucking lost. This is what they're going to do. It's what Georgia sport teams do. It's They just choke every time they get on the football field. I don't know what it is about that sport, just something in the air. Choking is in the air. But for this game, I like the Panthers to cover that. Easy. I expect them to take care of Atlanta. They should have beat the damn Saints, man. Moving on to the weekend's games, starting out with the Colts and the Lions, man. That's a tricky one right there. I, I want to go Colts, but I think I'm going to go Lions in the upset and cover it. I'm going to go ahead and take the Lions right there. I don't know why. I just got a weird feeling about that game, even though the Colts are getting some players back, but fuck it. Sometimes you got to make some wild-ass selections out here. Vikings and Packers ain't nothing wild about this shit. Aaron Rodgers about to drop about five touchdowns on these sons of bitches. Minnesota has been the biggest disappointment of the season for me. I expected them to at least uh, be in the wild card, maybe win the division. I had them winning the, the, winning the division, actually, but they're not even going to come close. These motherfuckers are the biggest disappointment of the year so far. So take the Packers covering that shit. Easy as hell, man. Ain't even going to be a contest. Patriots and Bills. Patriots have looked shitty the past couple weeks. They've kind of been exposed without Tom Brady. Brady's been flourishing in Tampa Bay. Unfortunately, I hate both of them. Still hate the Pats. Always going to hate Tom Brady. But the Bills haven't looked that good either. That's a team we should have beat, man. The Raiders, we should have beat them. But... Honestly, we should have beat both of them, but it's going to be a tricky one. I think the Bills, I like the Bills getting back on track in this one. I don't know about it, though. I don't think they'll cover. I don't think they're going to cover. So take the uh, Bills for the win, but the Pats will still cover the points. Titans and Bengals, that's ugly for the Bengals right there. I mean, Joe Burrows, he's, he's looking like a great quarterback. T. Higgins has proved me wrong. I didn't think T. Higgins should have belonged in the top-tier class of receivers, but he's been showing out. But that's about all they got besides Joe Mixon. Titans covering that easy, man. They played Pittsburgh. Hell of a game. Almost came back and won. So Titans, are, they're a legit team. Take them easy. Raiders and Browns. Tricky-ass game right here. Raiders like to fucking disappoint all the time. Like, people say Tampa Bay beat the fuck out of us easy, and the final score says that. But no, no. It was 24-17 before we took a fucking field goal in the fourth. But I'm not going to talk about that game. And the Browns just lost OBJ. But for some reason... They lose OBJ. Baker Mayfield bounces back and throws four touchdowns after starting 0 for 5 and a pick with OBJ. I hate for OBJ. He's tore his ACL, but that is probably going to be his last game in Cleveland, in my opinion. This game, I like the Raiders in a close one. Going to cover. Win by, I think we win by five or six points, maybe. Possibly at the worst, a field goal. But I, I, we can outscore anybody. Brown's defense sucks. Um... And they're just not as good as the Buccaneers were. So I expect us to beat the Browns. All, granted, it's going to be away up there in Ohio and Cleveland. Cold game. Carr hasn't played good in the cold. But Carr has been proving doubters are wrong a lot this year. So I expect him to come out in this game. Three, four touchdowns maybe. 280 yards, something like that. Jacobs should get back rolling. Trent Brown should be healthy. So take the Raiders in that one. Jets and Chiefs, no thought about this shit right here. Jets are easily the worst fucking team in the league. Garbage as fuck. They can't do shit right, man. Adam Gates got to get his fucking high ass the fuck out of there. But they're so end up, they might re-sign the dude. I'm just kidding, Jet fans, for real. I know y'all going to fire his ass at some point, probably the end of the season. I know that new GM that didn't pick Adam Gase. They've got rid of Adams, fucking Bell, all their talent. But they got a bright future, believe it or not. And I think Darnold's a good quarterback if they stick with him. But they'll probably take um, Trevor Lawrence. And I don't blame them if they do because Darnold could be broken for all we know after just starting out that shitty with Adam Gase as his head coach. Holy fuck, I can't fucking imagine. Chiefs are going to cover that fucking about 20-point spread they got. I believe it too. Like, god damn. I think the Chiefs are just going to beat the fuck, the unholy fuck out of the Jets. I don't see the Jets doing anything positive really in this game. They might score 10 points. I don't know. Maybe. Rams and Dolphins. This is going to be Tua's first start, man. I would love to pick the Dolphins, but I can't do it, man. The Rams are like a good-ass team this year. They, they back to that form. Like I said in my video last week, they back to that Super Bowl form where they only scored three. But they're looking really fucking good this year. I'd love to pick Tua. I'm a Bama fan. He's my boy. I'm going to be rooting for him on his first start. But realistically, unbiased opinion, I cannot pick the Dolphins to upset or even cover against the Rams. So the Rams are definitely going to easily beat that shit out. They're going to destroy the Dolphins, in my opinion. It's going to be a hard game. Quarterback's first start against a good-ass Rams team, that's tough. But I expect Tua to step up to the plate. I mean, probably two touchdowns and a pick, two touchdowns, two picks, something like that. He'll play all right, though. Tua's going to have to be a hell of a fucking quarterback. Still my favorite one out of the draft. I don't give a fuck. Steelers and Ravens, divisional game right here. Love the Steelers and Ravens games for the most part. They're always good, even though I hate, I really hate the Steelers as a Raider fan. Ravens, I don't got too much hate for them. I, really, I just don't like any team but my team. 
Steelers and Ravens, though, always interesting. I like the Steelers in this one. I think they're going to keep it rolling, man. I really do. I think that defense is going to be a little much for Lamar Jackson to handle. Lamar's looked kind of human this year. He's been, he's still been good. Don't get me wrong. I love me some Lamar Jackson, one of my favorite players to watch. But these motherfucking Steelers, bro, they're a problem. They're a legit Super Bowl threat. They, they have a shot at the AFC title game this year for sure. There's no doubt about it. Roethlisberger, I thought he wasn't going to come back off that elbow surgery right, but he's looking better than ever. So take the Steelers. But – Ravens will cover it, so don't take the Steelers with the points. Steelers are just going to win the game. I think it's going to be that damn close, maybe one to two points uh, differ differentiating in this game. Chargers and Broncos, tough game right here. Another another divisional game. I hate both of them. They're my AFC West rivals, but I'll probably be checking it out because the Chargers, I don't care what their fucking record says. The Chargers are a fucking scary team to go up against. Justin Herbert is legit. I thought dude was fucking ass. I was like, Chargers made a mistake not getting Tua, but... Herbert's looking good as fuck, dude. Looking like the best rookie so far. That is so far. And he's got better he's got better help around him than Joe Burrow does. But I think the Chargers will easily take care of the Broncos. Denver sucks, bro. Like, like, let's be honest about it. Denver's garbage as fuck. Chargers, yo, they're fucking at left tackle Garrett Bowles, too, before I move on, came out and said, oh, we got all the pieces to match up to Kansas City. Somebody drug test this motherfucker quick. I don't know what he's smoking, but you can't smoke enough fucking... You can't even smoke enough flocka to get on this dude's level to think that you the Broncos literally match up pound for pound against the Chiefs. Get that shit the fuck out of here, Garrett Bowles. Broncos are trash. Going to continue to be trash the rest of the season. Chargers probably beat the fuck out of them, but it's the AFC West matchup, so knowing the Chargers, they'll keep it close. They'll find a way to blow a lead like they always do, but I like them covering this one, to be honest. Saints and Bears, interesting right here. I like the Bears in this one, but I don't think they'll cover because the Saints, it's just going to be close. I really just think it's going to be close, man. I think the Bears will win by two or three points, maybe. It's a four-point favorite for uh, New Orleans, I believe. I believe it's New Orleans uh, that's favored. But I take, I like the Bears winning, but um, keeping it within a three-point game. So take that as you will. Because the Saints, they've kind of looked meh this year. You know, they ain't, they ain't going to win the division. They will make the playoffs. We beat the Saints. That says enough about the Saints. That's all you need to fucking know right there. And the Bears have looked really good up until they played the Rams for real, but I think they'll bounce back in this one. Niners and Seahawks. NFC East, the best division of football, bro. Or NFC West, my bad. NFC West, the best division of football. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Best fucking division of football right there. And in this game, I don't really, I don't know who to pick, but I'm going to go with my gut, take the Hawks covering it. I like Russell Wilson to bounce back this week. Craziest game I've ever seen in a long time last week between the Cardinals and the fucking Seahawks. That shit was great. Great. And uh, y'all got to witness it nationally because they took the Raiders and Bucks out of primetime. So thank the Raiders for being ass for that and having COVID. Cowboys, Eagles, Sunday night football. Why can't somebody flex this shit the fuck out of Sunday night football? The whole NFC East is a fucking dumpster fire. I still don't even, I can't even pick a winner from it. In this game, I do like the Eagles over the Cowboys because I don't even know if Andy Dalton's going to play after that crazy head injury he had. Dax out for the season. I don't know what the fuck the Cowboys about to be doing. I, th I think the Eagles will blow them out, to be honest. Take them just fucking outright. I think the Eagles might blow them out, dude. Buccaneers and Giants. Two shitty primetime uh, games to end the weekend. Why are you putting the Bucks and Giants in primetime? What have the Giants proven to deserve a primetime spot against a team like the Buccaneers? Buccaneers will cover that shit so fucking easy. They'll probably win by 25 points against the sorry-ass Giants. Because it's another NFC East team. They're fucking shitty, but they still have a shot at the division somehow. Golly, man. But anyway, that'll about wrap up my picks for the week, man. Uh, take it as you will. You'll probably win you some money if you listen a little bit. But pretty, feel pretty uh, confident about these picks, uh, except the Lions one, to be honest. But you got to throw some shit at the wall and hope it sticks sometimes. Anyway, that'll do it for this sermon, man. Reverend out. Till next time.